That is where we're going to camp. Yeah. Well, given that we couldn't see them about 50 metres back, yeah. somehow it feels now, yeah. a bit easier now that we can see our final destination. Down here. Wait a minute, we're not... So oh, we're lifting them. Right, that's fine. I couldn't have a better person to go bikepacking with than Marcus. He's a mountain bike guide who's been making this fast-growing sport both accessible and popular. Today, the Borders has become Scotland's go-to destination for biking. Whether it's on road, hardcore mountain biking or touring, this area has it all. Quite the view. That made yeah. the uphill struggle worth it. <laughs> Looks amazing. That's so. Uh, that's the Eildon Hills. There's three of them. So the, the trail, does it kind of take us yeah, further so round? Go, yeah, we go this way. Worryingly, according to my map, the three brethren sit at an altitude of 465 metres. A bit just, of a climb ju to go. Just as well, I've got some <laughs> snacks in here, Marcus, to keep the energy levels up, if that's what's ahead. Right, shall we get back on it? I have a feeling this trip will take me well outside my comfort zone, but for a hugely experienced long-distance biker like Marcus, this is just a warm-up. Steep. Oh, Marcus, this is so tough. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, I knew it would be hard, but I didn't expect it to be this hard. <laughs> at this rate, it's going to take a long time before I'm up at the Three Brethren. The bonus is Marcus will have dinner made by the time I get there. This section is way harder than I thought, but if there's one thing I've learned over the years, never give up. Oh! <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Finally! Finally, Marcus! <laughs> this is where Marcus and I are going to spend the night. Time to unpack the gear, and immediately I'm confused. This, this does look like a kite. <laughs> this tent doesn't have traditional poles, but utilises inflatable tubes to make it even lighter. Yeah. I'll at least lay it down and look at it. it as if I'm doing something. Now, how long is this going to take? <laughs> a bottle of wine later. <laughs> suddenly, the poles, even though they might be more of a storage issue, I I'm starting to think that I can understand why you packed that tent. It's a really good tent if you're on the bike, because you tend to have a pump with you. Yeah. And patches. So if it, you know, if there's a leak somewhere, you can, you can patch it with a bike. DIY. Yeah. We had a great evening, but lest we forget, this is Scotland. The weather has changed dramatically. Wild camping. I can see why they call it that. What a day! <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? How was it so nice when we went to sleep last night and now look at it? <laughs> In these conditions, we need to strike camp and get moving as quickly as possible. Easier said than done. It is a wee bit lighter, a wee bit lighter on the way back because we've eaten some of the food, but I still find it pretty remarkable just how much we've managed to pack in here for two days. Yeah. I mean, I take it things being compact and just really carrying the bare essentials is the key to this. Reducing yourself to what you really need. I don't think you need much. 